Have you ever wondered what all those white things mean on runways? Most runways have white markers on them that can show you where and where not to be on that specific runway. This right here is a blast pad for example. It's often used to protect the ground below the runway against jet blast. It's not as strong as the rest of the runway, so you should never use it. These blocks in a row are called the threshold. If you're flying a typical airliner, it's usually good to be about 50 feet above the ground when you're flying over these blocks. Followed by the threshold, you'll find the runway's number, and even further down the runway, two bigger blocks. These represent the landing aiming point. If you overshoot this, you could go around if you want to be safe, but in general, if there's more than enough runway left to brake safely, you can touch down a bit later as well. On longer runways, you'll often find these arrows. These arrows together are called the displaced threshold. They can be used for pretty much anything, except for landing. You can take off rolling over them, or use them as a taxiway. But for touchdown, you'll have to find the other markers again. Sometimes those landing aiming markers are followed by more markers that look very much alike. These are the touchdown zone markers. You can safely land on those as well. If you reach the other end of the runway and find those displaced threshold arrows again, you may use them for rollout after your landing. And those are probably the most important signs you should know about. <laughs> <laughs>